Very odd case. Arkansas State Senator Jason Rapert represents God, not his constituents. He might be a Democrat. He might be a Republican. I don't have to tell you. You'll figure that out. Let's take a look at the clip. And those organizations warred behind the scenes, and, and Janet talked to me about this particular moment. And I just decided there's only one vote that matters in my life. Unfortunately, it's not the 83, 85,000 people in my district. There's only one vote that matters, and that's when I stand before the Lord at that judgment seat. And I decided that it's more important. It's more important to do what is right by God than it is to please those that would rather have me talk about pro-life but not really do much about pro-life. This is very odd, Lewis, right? Because it is weird to only represent and care about what God thinks and wants when God didn't elect you. But more broadly speaking, if you are an elected official and rather than governing and legislating based on what your constituents and those who voted you into office want, if you legislate and and uh, uh, operate based on what an unobservable supernatural being wants you to do in your opinion, do you really have a place making law in this country? I know in many parts of the country, many individuals who feel this way are elected officials, but should they have a place? No, there should be no place for this. Unfortunately, I think a lot of his constituents probably love this comment. Well, that's uh, the thing. You hear the clapping, right? I, 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 you actually bring up a really good point. I don't know if I'm more concerned by the fact that he said this or by the fact that there was a round of applause when he said it. The, the constituents that are being told this guy doesn't care what you want or about the fact that you voted him in. He's going to do what he perceives God to want, not what his constituents want. And people <laughs> clapping. People love it. That's it. That's the other end of it is that well, let's let's be honest here. Everybody pretty much has a different idea of what they think God wants. So how does that help any of his constituents? Right. That's the other thing. When we talked about when we talk about evidence based and fact based, we can find out factually speaking what his constituents want. He'd probably ignore it anyway if it was anything remotely progressive. And we know that all across the country, Republicans and Democrats ignore the desires of their constituents day in and day out. We know that that happens. But we would at least be able to assess it and compare what he is doing against that. When you have this imaginary standard of him doing only what God wants as an elected official, what do you do with that? And it's shocking to me that this guy is is uh, is even winning elections. Maybe next time he won't. Maybe he'll be voted out. We can only hope, Lewis. Scary stuff, but uh, you know it's 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 a vicious circle in places like this. No question about it. Let's take a break. Facebook.com slash David Pakman show. Join us on Facebook. Plenty more, including your voicemails after this.